Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another Walmart grocery haul. I'll also be showing you a meal plan to go along with this that should last us for two weeks. First up, we got some drinks. I was definitely lacking in the drink department lately. I've just had a few sparkling waters, but those go pretty quick in this house. So I got if you remember these from like last summer, these are the Sunkiss Strawberry Lemonade Sodas. They are such a treat. They're not healthy at all, but they are so worth it. We actually broke into them last night. I know these will be gone super fast, but they're so addicting. I just had to get them. I haven't got them in months. So I was really excited about that. And then this is the first time I saw the Mandarin Orange canned clear american option so i grabbed that as well the kids were completely out of the freeze pops and the ones the popsicles sorry that are on the sticks the kids have a lot of trouble with them once it gets to the stick part especially giuseppe and it drips everywhere i don't know if these are going to be any better i'm not sure but we're going to try them out so these are the ones that are like in the plastic I have a strip of them in the freezer now. Gianna was very confused as to why she couldn't have a popsicle right away, but I'm hoping that these do okay and I know that they will last a lot longer because there's a hundred in here. These are just like a quick sip of juice to me. I used to eat these like crazy when I was pregnant with Giuseppe. For fruit, I got a cantaloupe this time around. I haven't got a cantaloupe in a while. Last time I purchased one from Walmart, it was super moldy the very next day. So I'm gonna be sure to cut this one up and I'll put it in my refrigerator. I also got a bunch of bananas because would you believe it, I still haven't been able to make banana muffins. Every single time I'm saving that one last banana, someone, AKA Jean, breaks into it. So I've got bananas here and one is separated and I'm going to put that up so that he can't find it so I can use it. I got another bag of potatoes. We've been loving the yellow potatoes so I'm sticking with those. I also ordered two plums and I don't know about you but these do not look like plums to me. They definitely look like peaches and this one kind of has like a little moldy spot. Hey, We got peaches instead of plums. That's fine. I got one block of Velveeta cheese because Gianna and Giuseppe have been requesting mac and cheese, so we needed some more of that. Strawberry yogurt for the kids. Vanilla yogurt for me. This was a substitution. I had ordered just the four cups, but they didn't have them, so they gave me that. I also picked up this mascara. This is the Lash Paradise mascara and it was $10. And I have heard so many things like on YouTube about this mascara. Believe it or not, before I had children, I was obsessed with makeup. I had a huge makeup collection and you would never catch me without at least five mascaras on hand. And seriously, at least. Normally it was like 20. So since having children, I am completely out of mascara. I was shocked when I realized I had no more mascaras. So I grabbed this one and I'm hoping it's good. It's crazy how your life changes after you have kids. I grabbed a rope of kielbasa because that always makes a quick, easy dinner. And I went back for some Hershey's cookies and cream, chocolate bars. These are the full size bars and there's six in here. These are so addicting. I feel like I haven't had a good treat just for me in the house. So I wanted to grab these and I'll definitely have to tuck these away because Jean snuck into them last time. I grabbed some marshmallows because the weather has been amazing and we want to do a fire and roast marshmallows. I was thinking about going on Amazon and getting a kit. They have like toasted marshmallow kits that come with all the sticks and like little s'mores holders. So I was thinking about grabbing one of those because right now we're just using like some really old marshmallow sticks from my grandparents' house. Now here is a little something that I have to thank Christine, AKA Frugal Fit Mom for. I was watching her video and she said, you need to go to Walmart and you need to get the chicken dipping sauce because it is Chick-fil-A's Chick-fil-A sauce. 
And I was like, oh my gosh, I just recently was introduced to Chick-fil-A sauce. I always get Polynesian whenever I go. And so once I tried this, I was like, it's amazing. And usually we have a little stockpile of the ones from Chick-fil-A, but we haven't gone in a while because we're trying to keep our budget down. So I was super excited about this and I can't wait to try it to see if it really does taste like the Chick-fil-A sauce. I will report back to you guys. I also grabbed two cans of pinto beans because we were in need of some. I'm completely out and some more ranch. We haven't bought ranch in a while. I got a huge bag of veggie straws for the kids, but also for Gene because he really likes them too. I grabbed some balsamic vinegar. I thought I would try and make a balsamic glaze for some chicken. So I wanted to grab some of that. I also grabbed some fettuccine noodles. I haven't purchased these in a really long time and they didn't have any angel hair pasta, which I thought was really weird. So I went with fettuccine. Some elbows and one box of penne pasta as well. A huge jug of heavy whipping cream because last time the Alfredo used almost all of the whipping cream and I have a few recipes that I need to use this for this time around. So I got the big one. In the meat section, I had ordered some country style ribs because I saw someone put them in the Instant Pot with barbecue sauce and they came out looking great. So I wanted to try them out for myself, but I got substituted for pork chops. That's fine. We'll have pork chops one night. And I wanted some skin on chicken thighs because I'm going to do a baked chicken and vegetables. I tried ordering sweet potatoes because I was going to do some baked sweet potatoes, but those were out as well. So we got trusty broccoli. This was also a substitution. I believe I got the Great Value brand and they just substituted me for this one. It was really hard to find broccoli on the app. It seemed like a lot of them were sold out. Next up, both Jean and I have really been craving burgers lately. So I ordered this 12 pack of burgers. I still have some burger buns in my freezer from my Costco haul. So I'm gonna pull those out and we'll have burgers a couple times. Next up, two gallons of whole milk because this house goes through milk like crazy. And I got one huge jug of orange juice. Last time I got this, I only had one glass of OJ and I had to share it with my kids. And the next time I went to pour some, it was completely gone. So I told Jean he needs to slow down on that. But I also brewed some of my own green tea lemonade. I just used tea bags and put it in my refrigerator overnight and then pulled it out, added lemon juice and sugar, and it's really yummy. So we'll have both of those drinks. And then I got our absolute favorite pizza. You know, we cannot live without this one, the Sam's Choice Chicken Bacon Ranch Sauce Pizza. I highly recommend. And then I have to double check my order. I do not remember purchasing this, mainly because I really don't like DiGiorno pizzas. Ever since we've had the Sam's Choice ones, we know what good pizza is, and it is not DiGiorno, in my opinion. But I ended up with this. It's a three meat pizza, so I really don't remember buying it. Maybe Jean snuck it in there, so I'm going to double check and see. If not, then this could have been an accident. Lastly, if you saw my dinner video, then you saw I made brownies the other day. And of course we needed some vanilla ice cream to go atop for brownie sundaes. I totally forgot whipped cream, but that's okay because I still had some caramel sauce and chocolate sauce and sprinkles. So the kids were happy. And of course, so was I. I thought I would quickly show you guys. I have these fridge or organizer containers and this one I got from Five Below, I like it because it's really deep. And then the shallow one came from Aldi. And one of them is for the kids stuff. So like yogurts and if I have like applesauce, this is completely gone. So I'm gonna switch that out for this yogurt. And I just couldn't find a place so I stuck these in there as well. And I like it because you can just grab it here and pull it out. And then this deep one I use for all of my meats. These came from the freezer from my Costco haul and they kind of spilled in here. So I'm pulling everything out and I love it because I can just clean this instead of having to clean my entire fridge. I have 
have definitely noticed since having these, I pull all my meat out and I'm much more prepared and organized. And I notice if this is starting to look a little empty, I'll just go in the freezer and pull some stuff out. And it's really helped us not order a ton of takeout. So here's the meal plan for this week. Breakfast, we're doing eggs and toast, lunch, pizza, and dinner, beef empanadas with rice and beans. Next, cereal and fruit, peanut butter and jelly. That's a fan favorite in this house. Teriyaki Alfredo, and that has chicken and broccoli with it. Then we're going to do some granola bars. Those are just those cereal and fruit bars from Walmart with yogurt. Turkey and cheese roll-ups, I've shown those before. They're super easy to make with crescent rolls. And then I am going to try Zuppa Toscana with some bread on the side. This Jean loves. I never make it because I'm not a big fan of sausage or kale, but I'm going to try it and we'll see. <laughs> I have leftovers just in case. We've actually already had all of this. Tonight we're doing the Zupa. And then we're doing eggs and hash browns for breakfast, hot dogs with leftover rice and beans because I have a ton of leftovers. And then I'm gonna do baked chicken with veggies. Cereal and fruit again, cereal is on a rotation. Chicken nuggets and tater tots because you can never go wrong with those. And I really am excited because I got some Chick-fil-A sauce from Walmart, so we're excited about that. And then pork fried rice with the pork chops because my meal plan was different, but now we have pork chops. So I'm just going to do pork fried rice because that's really easy. And then we'll do yogurt and granola, leftovers, of course, and then a chicken bacon ranch pizza. And then that is like totally organized for the rest of this week. Over here is some more dinner ideas for the next week. So I've got the mac and cheese with kielbasa, tempura shrimp with rice, pancakes and bacon, super easy, cheeseburgers and potato salad. I could also do cheeseburgers and tater tots. I could do burgers for lunch one day. I haven't really decided. Pizza again, because we got two of those pizzas. And then I'll do my chicken with homemade Alfredo. And I really want to make muffins. So that's everything. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in another one soon. Bye.